Hi, I'm Gabe. And I'm Gigi. Welcome, Welcome to, to Intune. Intune. Where music and entertainment meet the politics of a suburban high school. Rap is currently the most listened to genre of music worldwide. And like any popular movement in music, it is no stranger to controversy. Since its origination in the early 80s, rap music has been criticized for allegedly promoting hypermasculinity and misogyny through its lyrical content. This week, we sat down with local rap artist Austin Farah to hear the perspective of someone who actively contributes to the culture. I think it's like a crutch, kind of. Just like if you need, I don't know, I think guys use it as something to say if they have nothing to say. So like, if they're just in the studio, they'll just talk about a girl that might not even exist, you know what I mean? Just to beef up a song. Um, I think there's different ways to to avoid it, like just having more positive music in general. Um, like a lot of guys don't reach and, and try to just make people happy in general. Um, to be honest though, I don't know if there is a way to completely avoid it. Um, Cause hip hop has been so just like dependent on it for so long. Like it's sad to say, but it's the truth, you know? Just for the average person, like I, make music but at the same time I had a whole life of just normal things too like you know what I mean I went to college you know what I mean I did a lot of those things so like I give like practical advice and um also like if you listen to the project I did called Dead Roses that was like all about like relationship stuff like of course like there might be some things considered misogynistic in there but it was mostly just like raw honesty about relationships and like how to get through like different heartbreaks and even depression and things like that too. So yeah, a little bit of everything in my music, yeah. I'm looking right at the camera, cool. People say I'm short-winded, I just never talk a lot around Vision clearer, the check's way bigger. When they call us, I deliver. Million dollar mindset status. We ain't cut from the same fabric. Honestly, this rap game tragic. They still mumbling, that's backwards. You could say I'm focused in my younger age. I know what it takes to never fade away. If you trying to run the game, you gotta play. Writing all this music, man, I barely ate. I can see the bitter nature in your face. How the young arts jump up with the greats. So extraordinary in the place. All I ever needed was a little space. Just a little bit right there. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Tune in next week.